Okay, we're still dealing with the rushing attack, and today we're going to look at something called the crucifix. This technique can be used when your opponent attempts a single or double leg takedown. Now be careful when working with your partner, as this technique puts extreme pressure on the neck. Now as the attacker comes in for the takedown, you're going to underhook one of his arms, spin him around, and then sit out. From here, as you notice, when I lean back, it puts extreme pressure on the neck. Note too that my right hand is pressed firmly on the ground. Now you can start with a punch first, or go straight in for the tackle. It really doesn't matter. If the attacker is rushing in too quickly, you're going to take both hands, hit the shoulders to stop him, or slow him up, and then hook the arm. Now typically, Whatever side his head is on, which is here the right side, that's the side you're going to hook. Notice too how my left foot steps back. I've got to get my base. If I stand there with my feet together, I'm going down. Also notice how I'm shuffling backwards. I need to stay on my feet to execute this technique. When working with your partner, be careful when executing this turn. You want to make sure you don't put too much pressure on the neck as you're taking him down. Now, just like I was saying, a little bit too much pressure was applied to the neck, and Gene got his neck tweaked a little bit. So I can't stress this enough. Don't do these techniques too quickly because it's very easy to injure your partner. Now remember, you want to step back, go to the side that his head is on. It's the right side here. If his head was on my left, I would hook his left arm. Now for the single leg, it's the same thing. Nothing changes until we get to the takedown. As I sit out, you have a couple options. You can simply pull the right foot in and clamp your left leg down or you can hook it with your right foot as I'm doing here. Then you push out with your leg. This will allow you to maintain pressure. Another thing that you can do is simply grab it with your left hand, push the arm outward while simultaneously leaning back. 